Hello students, now I am going to teach you the subject biology. Now we are going to learn first part of the chapter reproduction in organism. Firstly, let us see the topics to be learned under this chapter. The topics to be learned under this chapter are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Under asexual reproduction, we have subtopics fission, budding, fragmentation, and vegetative propagation. Under sexual reproduction, we have subtopics pre fertilization events, fertilization event, post fertilization events, and parthenogenesis. Before we go to the main topics, let us have a little idea of lifespan. What is lifespan? The time period from birth to natural death of an organism is called lifespan. Lifespan is not necessarily correlated with the body sizes of organisms. Let us have a look in this picture. A crow and a parrot. They are nearly similar in their sizes but they are different in lifespans. This is crow. Crow has lifespan of 15 years and a parrot is having 140 years of lifespan. So we know lifespan is not correlated with the body sizes. Let us see lifespan of some organisms. Here, look, lifespans of different organisms are given in this table. Now, reproduction. What is the reproduction? Reproduction can be defined as a biological process in which an organism gives rise to young ones similar to itself. Now, types of reproduction. Based on the participation of one organism or parent or two, there are two types of reproduction, asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. What is asexual reproduction? Production of an offspring by a single parent without the formation and fusion of gametes is called asexual reproduction. What is sexual reproduction? The mode of reproduction which involves the formation and fusion of male and female gametes is called sexual reproduction. A sexual reproduction is common among single cell organisms and in plants and animals with relatively simple organizations. Cell division is itself a mode of reproduction in Portista and Monerans by dividing the parent cell into two new individuals. Okay, what are clones? Morphologically and genetically identical individuals are called clones. So asexual reproduction is also known as cloning because the newly formed individuals are morphologically and genetically identical to the parent individuals. Now let us see some types of asexual reproduction. Fission, budding, spore formation and fragmentation. What is the fission? Splitting of the parent organism into two or more daughter individuals identical to the parent is called fission. Fission itself is a cell division. Now types of fission. There are two types of fission. They are binary fission and multiple fission. Now binary fission. What is binary fission? It is the division of the parent cell into two small, nearly equal sized daughter individuals. Examples of organisms which have binary fissions are Amoeba, Paramecium, Planaria, Euglena, Keratium. In this picture, we have seen different types of 
binary fissions binary fission occur in amoeba is irregular type of binary fission binary fission occur in eugelena is longitudinal type binary fission occur in paramecium is transversal type here look the new daughter organisms are transversally divided here in euglena new daughter cells are divided longitudinally here in amoeba new organisms are divided irregularly so we have seen different types of binary fission here now multiple fission what is multiple fission multiple fission is the division of the parent organism or parent body into many small daughter individuals simultaneously examples of organisms which have multiple fission are plasmodium and amoeba in amoeba during unfavorable conditions multiple fission occurs plasmodium is malarian parasite multiple fission in amoeba under unfavorable conditions amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and secretes a three layer thick covering the cis wall around itself the phenomenon is called incestation 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 on return of favorable conditions the incested amoeba divides by multiple fission and produces minute amoeba called pseudopodiospores pseudo podio spores right so thus amoeba has multiple fission in unfavorable conditions now budding it is the formation of a daughter individual from a small projection outgrowth called bud that arises on the parent body types of buds depending on the place where the bud arises budding can be of two types external budding or exogenous or internal budding endogenous or gamulation external budding here it is a hydra this is outgrowth but it is detached from the parent body and become new individual it is external body right so now internal body this is uh, spongilla internal budding is also known as gamulation look this is the uh, gamulation of spongilla these are gamules internal buds gamules this is found in spongilla spongilla and these are gamules g e double m u l e s gamules gamules are internal buds right now difference between fission and budding in fission the parent organism divides into equal and similar halves they develop into new individuals in budding the parent organism produces a small outgrowth which is known as bud and develops the new organism in fission the division of the parent organism is equal in budding the division of the parent organism is unequal now we have spore formation or a spore relation what are spores spores are minute 
single cell thick wall propagules or reproductive structures sporulation is common in monera protista algae and fungi you know there are many types of the spores let us see two types of the spores here one is a zoospore another one is conidia zoospores are motile and flagellated spores produced inside the zoosporangia zoosporangia is a sac like structure look here clay mydomonas green algae this sac like structure is zoosporangium in singular zoosporangia is said to be zoosporangium these are flagellated zoospores other type of spore is conidia they are non-motile exogenous spores which develop through constriction on the tips of the hyphae hyphal branches called conidiophores these are found in penicillium and spergillus now let us see the difference between zoospore and conidia zoospores are flagellated and motile conidia are non-flagellated and non-motile zoospores are endogenously formed in a sac like structure called zoosporangium conidia are exogenously formed now fragmentation it is the type of asexual reproduction in which the fragments of the parent organism develops into new individuals one example is spirogyra now in this picture we have seen two fragments of the spirogyra are separated and develop into new individuals right advantages of asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is uniparental thus there is no need to search for a mate asexual reproduction is a rapid mode of reproduction in asexual reproduction the young ones are genetically similar to their parents a single parent may produce a large number of offspring in asexual reproduction and consumption of resources is lower in asexual reproduction let us see the disadvantages of asexual reproduction there is no mixing of genetic material in asexual reproduction so no new combination or variation takes place there is no crossing over in asexual reproduction new linkages are not formed it has no role in evolution asexual reproduction causes overcrowding new organisms have low adaptability to the same environment in asexual reproduction let us do only this much for now thank you all